Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We got a little short one for you today. We're using the great Divi Plus plugin that adds 50 new modules and four extensions to your Divi site. We've done plenty of videos on this. Have a look at the Divi Plus playlist below if you want to learn more. We're going to take a look at the fancy text module today. Great way to add eye-catching titles to your pages using Divi Plus here. Really easy to do, so let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and I'll just delete my little title I've got going here. So I've got a single row with one column in it. Let's add a module. Now we've got Divi Plus installed and activated today. All these modules here are the ones that come as standard with the Divi theme. Anything with DP in front of it are the ones you get once you've installed the Divi Plus plugin. And there's plenty of them here as you can see. So I'm going to use the fancy header setting today and this couldn't be easier to use. There it is, fancy text. And it puts something in there. Simply put in what you want your title to say. And you can choose, it's kind of hard to see, I'll make that bigger in a minute. You can choose whether to put a gradient in there or use a black background cl clipping. And that'll clip the text and show the image through the background of the text there. I'll just leave that on gradient for a minute. What I'll do is go to design and make this a lot bigger. So I'm going to go to design, just my regular text settings. I'm going to make it ultra bold. I'm going to capitalize it. I'm going to make it an awful lot bigger. Let's put it in the middle too. And you can slide, you can type in a value, same as any other Divi text module. Okay, at least we can see what we're doing there. Let's go back to our content there. As you can see, I've got this set to gradient at the moment. And to set your gradient, go over to design, fancy text styling. Because we've selected gradient in the content tab, it's given us a gradient to put in here. So obviously you can put in whatever gradient you want down the bottom. What type of gradient, radial, linear. Linear goes from one end to the other or top to bottom. Radial emanates out from the middle. And you can change start position and end positions. You can actually segregate the colors completely there and have them different colors all together. And that's a nice little option. So that's a gradient, but what I like to use here is the actual background clipping because we can add an image. Now if we go over to our design, instead of having a gradient there, we've got the option to add a, a background image. And obviously you want to put something with color in there. So let's put that in there. And that looks pretty interesting, that's nice. I've got it covering the background. I've got it in the center of the image, which is right here. You can pop it wherever you want. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Just get what, what works best for you. I'm gonna leave mine in the middle for this, center. That's great, and that's a pretty good looking headline right there. That's gonna grab people's attention quite quickly. And if you want to, you can add drop shadow to make it stand out a bit more. Let's go into the text settings and just roll down a bit. Here's our text shadow. Just add that to bring it off the page a little bit. And it also adds a bit of shadow to the interior, which makes it stand out. So if I take that off again, it kind of darkens down the interior background as well, which almost gives it a 3D effect there. I like that. So that's all there is to it. Very, very simple. You can change it however you want, put some images behind there with pictures and stuff and get some great effects very simple to do once again we've been using the fancy text module from the great divi plus plugin today and you can find the link below the video if you'd like to check that one out so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful a little short and sweet one there let's save this make sure it's going to work on the front end exit the visual builder and let's go down and take a look. 
And there it is. That offsets that page nicely. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.